Hey, Evantic here, welcome back to yet another video for Subnautica Below Zero. And today we'll be talking about the Sea Truck Modules. I will show you exactly where to find those modules around the map. Once we get all the blueprints, I will build each module and show you what it does. So right now we are heading towards the Purple Vents biome where we can find most of the modules available in the game. If you haven't already, I recommend that you watch my videos about how to get the blueprints for the sea truck. And I also have a video about all the upgrades you can get for your sea truck. So you can check those out, link is in the description and on your screen right now. If you find my videos and guides useful, remember to subscribe to my channel. It is actually free and you can unsubscribe at any time you wish. So right now we have left our drop pod location and we are looking for the thermal spires. And past the thermal spires we will find the purple vents biome. I think I'm a little bit off course for the thermal vents so I have to turn a little bit to the right. <laughs> yeah, this will get me on the right path right now. Oh yeah, that's the Cryptosuchus screaming in the background. We are in- oh, and that is the Chelicerite. Okay. So we are in the right location right now. <laughs> Alright, there's the Leviathan. And I highly recommend that you avoid confrontation with this beast. This Leviathan has no chills, so it will rip you to pieces. Alright, so now we have the first piece right in front of us. Let's get it scanned in. Alright, this is the steeper module, so this is one out of three. So there should be other pieces scattered around this area. And as you can see, there's another part of a module. And yeah, this is the docking module. And actually, it should be placed in the deep purple vents, which is uh, the area beyond this depth. Since we have our first piece of the docking module, let's go right ahead and explore the area where the docking module should be. And this is the only module that is placed in the deep purple vents. All the other modules are in the shallows of the purple vents. And in the lily pad biome, some of them are in the deep twisty bridges biome. Okay, so now we have to go even deeper for the third piece of the docking module. So we just need uh, to look around this area. You can look at the shelves like to the left here or to the right. They might contain some uh, parts. Oh, and there we go. There's the third piece of the docking module. So that's really easy. All right, so now we have our first uh, module for the sea truck. So let's get out of here, because there's nothing else we can find here. Alright, so the pieces for the fabricator module and the storage module should be scattered around the shallow purple vents. So let's have a look around here. So there's another piece of a module, and you have to be cautious here because there's a shadow leviathan right above you. Okay now, so we have a second piece of the sleeper module. Ooh, and what is this? Oh, and that is the third piece of the sleeper module. So now we have a second module that we have discovered. Two pieces of lithium. They're very useful. Just pick those up whenever you find them. Another sleeper module. Yeah, I already have that. Alright, so we haven't found the fabricator module in this area, so let's go to another area where we might find one guaranteed piece of a fabricator module. Okay, so if we get out of here and we go right over here, so to the right of the crevice that we just left, there will be this little crash site which will contain some fragments. Let's get out of here. And uh, as you can see, we can scan in the sea truck fragment. There is also a fabricator piece, which I was talking about. 
And right next to it, we have the aquarium module. Okay, so I think we got everything, so let's go back to our sea truck. And let's go explore the Twisty Bridges area. Okay, so we have to turn right here and go towards the drop pod. That's where the Twisty Bridges area will be. Wait, come to think of it, I think it's gonna be better if I go for the Aquarium module straight away. Which is right next to the Purple Vents biome. So if we go south or southeast, we are going to hit the lily pad biome. And the aquarium module is actually on the surface of this biome, so you don't have to go in any caves. You don't have to look for a specific thing, you just have to look on the surface of the lily pad biome. So what I usually do is scan left and right with my uh, headlights. This will highlight any white part that you can see on the biome so pretty much any module fragment that is present is like bright white and it's like contrasting with the background so it's kind of easier to spot it that way and this is a large area to look through so it's actually very hard to find the other aquarium modules and there it is there's the second aquarium module so yeah Let's get out here and scat it in. There we go. Query module, two out of three. So they're kind of scattered uh, very thinly and they're kind of scarce around this area. All right, so we found the third part of the query module right over here. New technology, New technology acquired. acquired. Now let's look for the other pieces. Alright, so we actually made our way back to the Twisty Bridges. What we want to do now is submerge really deep and look for a crevice that leads downwards. Okay, so we are reaching the bottom of the shallow Twisty Bridges. We should be looking for a hole somewhere in this area. And yeah, you will drop down all the way to the bottom. This actually leads very very deep. This is why it's called the Deep Twisty Bridges. You will also encounter squid sharks around this area. Which are kinda dangerous for you, so you should try to avoid them as much as possible. Alright, so now what we want to do is go around this area and look for some modules, module fragments for your sea truck. You can get some gel sacks from this area, you can get some diamonds, so remember to pick those up as well. Somehow I don't see any pieces, oh okay, there we go, by the oxygen plant. Yeah, that's a sea truck storage module fragment, one out of three. All right, so let's look for some more. Oh, great. Found another one. What is this? Yep. Fabricated module. So this should be the second piece I have found so far. Let's go into this passageway. And yeah, to the left I see something. All right. So cool. Fabricated module. Number three. And another one of those storage module fragments. There we go. Two out of three. One more. Give it to me. Give it to me. Where is it? Where's the other one? Use the oxygen plant to manage your oxygen when you're here. Alright, so I see a bunch of diamonds. All right, the last piece of a storage module. And there we go, new technology. New technology. I think this is it, we have all the modules for the sea truck. Let's go back to base. Okay, so we are back at base so we can start building our modules. Let's jump on our mobile vehicle bay for that. Now we just click here, open up the modules section. We have the aquarium module, 
we have the docking module, we have the fabricator module, the sleeper module, the storage module, and the teleportation module. Alright, so let's start building our modules. Let's start from the left and there we have the aquarium module. I like how the drones fly up and assemble the module like with a laser beam or something. It looks pretty nice. Okay, there we go. It is assembled now, so it's gonna drop into the water. So here we have an aquarium module, and as you can see, it's all glass. It has two tanks on both sides, which will contain some fish. You can grab this handle to move the modules around, and if you come close to it, it will just attach itself to your sea truck. So that's how you assemble a sea truck. And what do you need to build one? Let me show you. Jump in here. Plasteel ingot, wiring kit times two, enamel glass times two. Sea truck docking module. I'll actually build this at the end because this is a piece that goes at the end of the chain of the modules. So the second thing I'm gonna build is the sea truck fabricator module. And for a fabricator module, we need a plasteel ignit, computer chip, and lead times three. There we go, the module is being assembled. So if we look at this piece, it's kind of uh, very plain. It has nothing significant about it. Uh, so the important thing is inside of it, the fabricator, which will come in handy. Alright, so once the module is locked in, you can go through it. The doors are open between the modules. Let's go ahead and build the next module. Alright, now we are going to build the sea truck sleeper module. So you will need plasteel ingot, fiber mesh times 2, and lead times 3. Alright, and unlike the fabricator module, this module has a window up top, so you can tell that this is a steeper module, actually. And here we have it. The sea truck is getting even longer. So let's go ahead and build another piece for the sea truck. And now we are going to go right ahead and build a storage module. So for that we need a plasteel ingot, wiring kit, and lead times three. And I think this is the most plain looking module in the game. Okay, so the next piece is the teleportation module. So what do you need to build a teleportation module? You need a plastil ingot, advanced wiring kit, and aerogel times two. How do you unlock a teleportation module? You actually need to find some alien technology scattered around the map, but I don't want to spoil anything for you guys, so I didn't show you how to get it. You will figure it out by yourself. I think that in the final release this teleportation module will be actually cut out of the game, but I'm not sure about that. Bang! Another module attached. So the last module we are going to build is the sea truck docking module. And as I mentioned, this module goes at the end of the sea truck. Class steel ingot, advanced wiring kit, and lead times three. And as I said before in another video, I highly recommend that you get going with your lead collection straight off the bat. That's because you will need a lot of lead in this game and it's not very common to find lead on the map. So let me zoom it all the way to the back of the sea truck. Keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. That is a long sea truck. Keep on going. We're still going. Okay. So here's the docking module attached to the back of the sea truck. And I need to build uh, another thing. Okay, so let's build a prawn suit for demonstration purposes only. And there's a video coming up about the prawn suit pretty soon. 
I think it's gonna be one of my next videos, so stay tuned for that. If you wanna see a prawn suit video, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Whoa, 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 this is glitched. Okay, so if you jump in a prawn suit while it's falling from being assembled, it actually walks on water. This is the Jesus prawn suit. <laughs> Okay, that got fixed by jumping out of it. Alright, so if we jump towards the docking module, it should grab your prawn suit automatically, like so. And now the prawn suit is attached to the sea truck, and you can take it anywhere you want. Finally, we got everything assembled, so let me show you around inside the sea truck. So you just jump in through this hatch at top. You can choose to jump in a cockpit in the pilot seat and drive it around, or you can just walk around it and use the modules themselves. So the first module we are in is the aquarium module. And this module will catch fish automatically when we swim by some kind of creature. And as you can see, this aquarium module also grabs some baby pinglings. So yeah, you can pick up any animal that can be stored in inventory. So the next module we have here is the fabricator module. So you can use the storage to the left to put stuff away. And you can use the fabricator to build anything you want, just like in a regular fabricator. Next up is a sleeper module. So you can place a picture here. So, so if you took a picture with the F11 key, you can actually place and upload pictures to this picture frame. Obviously there's a jukebox which I cannot use. There's also a nice view through the window up at top of the module so you can actually look at the moon while you're sleeping. You can also go ahead and use this bunk bed to take a nap. And once you have a nap, you can switch the day night cycles. So if you go to sleep at night time, you will switch to daytime and vice versa. You can look through this glass window on the aquarium module. So the next module is a storage module and as you can see there's a bunch of storage here. You can open this up and put stuff in them. And what we have here? You have a 3x5 wall locker and you can change the name of the locker if you wish. We have a 4x3, another 4x3, and we have this 3x6. So there is a lot of storage in this module. And the last module is this alien looking module, which is the teleportation module. And to use this teleportation module, you will need to build a feather tool. Okay, it's two titanium, silicon rubber, and one iron cube. Okay, so they added a voice line for that, so it might be confirming that the teleportation module will not be caught in the final version. That is actually good news. Anyway, it's very expensive to use because you need one iron cube. Unless there's a source of infinite iron cubes in the game, I don't see much use of this tool. And if we swim away from the sea truck a couple of meters and I pull out my feather tool from my inventory if I press down it will teleport me back to the sea truck I think they changed this so you can use it three times before it like depletes the iron cube and then you have to feed it yet another iron cube let me know in the comments if you think the teleportation module is too expensive to be used at all Alright, so we are at the docking module. We can use this to eject the prawn suit, so it just drops to the bottom. You can get out through here. You can also enter the sea truck through the back if you wish. Unlike in other modules, there is no entrance. You have an entrance at the back where the docking module is. Alright, so let's put our prawn suit back at the docking station at the back of it. And let's take our sea truck for a spin. So the sea truck will be much slower or much less maneuverable with the modules attached to it. And as you can see you can also get hooked on stuff which you should watch out for. 
and if you need speed you can also detach the cockpit from the rest of the sea truck and run away from your threats leaving behind all the modules You can also attach yourself to the back of the modules just by swimming up and backing up into them. And actually you can configure your sea truck as you wish, so you, all you have to do is get out, grab one of the modules, and assemble and rearrange them as you wish. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. If you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like. Comment down below if you think that teleportation module is something you will be using in the full release. And as always, this is Avantek signing off. Until next time.